In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this six options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have designed this kind of umbrella shape and then I've added different colors to it. I have added the icons and for each icon, I have provided the option one and the detailed text. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to the view enable the guides then go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the hexagon shape just click it here shape outline make it no outline then go to the shape format i'm going to change the height to 5.06 and the width to 5.87 align center align middle and then i'm going to rotate this one the pointed corner should come on top for that alt and the right arrow key okay and you can see the small orange point you can just drag this a little bit okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this into six equal parts for that go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle and give some different color shape outline make it no outline and you can see the small orange point just drag this inside and then the height i'm going to make this as 6.5 and the width i'm going to make it as 0 0.1 then align center align middle then press ctrl d to duplicate again align center align middle and i'm going to rotate and bring the line here okay alt one two three four okay press ctrl d one two three and four so you can see here i have done added this one now i'm going to cut this into six equal parts and before that one right mouse click click on the duplicate slide so if something goes wrong we have a backup slide so go to the slide number three now press ctrl a to select all the objects go to the shape format merge shapes and select the fragment and i'm going to delete all the unwanted objects which i don't need okay you can see here i can just select one by one and i can just delete this one and this one i don't need i don't need all right so you can see here we have got six equal parts here the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to cut and give a curve shape here for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to the format shape and give some transparency look and then move it up turn a little bit and make sure that this and this corner should be align properly okay you can see here if i just cut like this it will be the edges will not be the sharp okay either you need to increase the size of the rectangle this oval shape then increase it or if you want to decrease decrease it but you have to make sure that this is properly aligned and this should be matching with this for example if i would like to make it less then i have to increase the size again to match to this one and here also it should match here okay you can see here and if you want just bring it somewhat down yeah so now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this oval shape merge shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this now let me just give some different color to it press ctrl d to duplicate alt one two three four times you need to rotate it and put it here exactly and then delete the green one then select this one press ctrl d again alt one two three four right arrow key and then put it here and delete this one then comes again press ctrl d again alt right arrow key four times alt one two three four highlight this delete this again press ctrl d again alt one two three four times i'm pressing the right arrow key and align it properly then delete this part then control d this is the last one one two three four and put it here and delete this we are done
now i would like to add some uh, black borders here for that go to our backup slide select this green one control c bring it here control v make this color as black all right and send this to back and then i'm going to add one more oval shape here a small oval shape hold the shift key give a small oval shape shape fill shape outline make it black shape fill make it white and here shape outline i'm going to increase the weight here and again make sure to align center align middle so you can see here we have completed the design the basic design then depending on the requirement i can just go and choose any color here so i'm just going to choose this color different color combinations you can see here and here i'm going to make it maybe green all right so i've got this one so once this is done the next thing which you can do is you can go to the insert click on the icons and add the relevant icons depending on the requirement so randomly i'm just going to choose few icons you can see here i'm randomly i'm selecting six icons different icons i'm choosing and click insert move the icons here make the height and width maybe 0.7 and then i'm going to paste the icons one by one here you can see here like this you can place the icons and if you like to give a white icon you can just change the icon from black to white whichever way you feel and once this is done go to the insert text box i'm going to say zero one option okay open sans bold or semi bold and then you can insert the detail equals lorem within brackets one select this one reduce the font size all right maybe it will give you 11 select both this one we can just give the color according to the color which you have selected like this Control g to group it hold the Control shift key this is second option this is the third option let me just bring it down and then hold the Control shift key bring it towards the left side and change this one so option one this is two this is three or uh, i can just give this as four five and six and if you like to do some basic animation you can do the animation effect here